hello everyone Habibi here welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to create a tutorial how to make an enemy that will chase the player I have these two characters here I just duplicated this first one and this one I named it uh, super angkot chasing the difference between this one and the previous one the original one has this uh, voice trigger in it but the new one doesn't have that voice trigger so I'm, what I'm going to do <coughs> in this video is to make this character <coughs> to chase the player I already have some script I, I have I had a script in my web blog let me show you here I had a script about how to create enemy patrol system in unity and I'm going to reuse this script but not all the script I will uh, code it one by one and I will just copy and paste the things that I need first of all I'm going to create a script inside the script folder I will create oops, enemy chasing layer script and I attach this script to this super angkot chasing object hang on a second wait until the unity reload the script then we can attach it here and let's edit the script okay here is a visual studio and i'm going to copy paste some of line of course for example this movement speed and turning speed movement speed and turning speed and then just okay the second one will be target okay I'm going to type here I will add game object player and here inside for the start function player I will initiate it this way game object dot find that the player game object the player game object is the name of the player game object should be inside this player rig expand it here player armature I think this is the player object copy the name I paste it here player armature and then I go back to my block and for the lead update I will make it fixed update header loop position will copy this line start from this one until this line let me change it to fix number I'll just update later we change it 
for the look position vector to look position I will change this one with player player dot transform dot position minus transform dot position pause by water neon look pause okay and I think I can test it go back to unity and I'm going to start the main menu scene main menu main menu play the game play now you see that the player the character is chasing me with that speed movement speed and rotation speed let me adjust the speed of this character the super angkot chasing let me reduce the speed to 1 you can see it chases me slower and what if I change the turning speed to 5 for example it will turn faster but if I change it to 1 it will turn slower alright that is for the movement and the orientation of the enemy the enemy character one thing left that I need to do is to play the running animation on this character let me stop the game and I go back here to scene 2 layer and code chasing it has this uh, animation controller right this one that we, we made earlier on my previous video I will I duplicate it and change it to chasing double click to edit this one idle let me just rename it to running I'm going to double click it uh, I'm going to change it to I had this zombie running animation so I pl apply this animation and then don't forget to use this chasing animation controller for the super angkot chasing use it here save it and I'm going to go to main menu and start the game click play now oh The animation is not played. Let me check. This is the animator running. If I double click it here, we have loop time checkbox. I check it on and click apply. Then we can try it again. play now then let's run you can see that enemy is playing but that character is running on the air not touching the ground we can adjust it hang on let me adjust it it is easy to adjust this thing we can just I don't know Maybe I can 
bring this make some hips lower this way is it still on the air yeah it is on the air and let me pause the game first okay so we cannot modify the position of this maximal hips but instead we can just lower the let me think what we can do to let me stop the game first I'm going to make an empty gum object inside this inside this character object I'm going to name it character root Let's place it here and I place all the objects in inside this character root and let me go back to main menu and play the game and let me check how can I modify the position of the object okay the problem now is I need to move the animation controller previously the animation control is here <coughs> I need to copy the component and paste it here paste component as new delete the previous one okay let me go back the main menu play it again let me drink my coffee play now the animation is being played and let me pause the game let me check the character root okay the character root I'm going to bring it lower maybe here let me play it again I think it is better right maybe even lower you can do it you can edit the position of the character root object okay guys that's all how to make an enemy that will chase you the player in your unity game you can adjust the speed of the character the enemy the movement speed and the rotation speed you can adjust it easily just like how i did it okay thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like it please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button share it to your friends that want to learn how to make unity games to support me in this channel bye bye see you soon on my next videos